Now, when we think of superheroes, what comes to your mind? Superman? Batman or even Wonder Woman? Well, whatever your definition of a hero is, I think we all agree that a hero is someone who sacrifices themselves to save others. And in our nonfiction world, firefighters or first responders could be among those who best fit that description. Now, firefighters have among the most beloved and respected jobs in the world, and Korea is no exception. Marking Firefighters Day this month, this is their story. It's quarter past midnight, but firefighters Hun Hong Sung's day has just begun. Working 12 hour shifts in three rotations, Soon is one of the nearly 100 firefighters here at Sochio Fire Station and one of a few part of the fire scene investigation unit. He's charged with determining the origin and cause of all fires and explosions in this area and always ready to run out to any emergency calls. And upon return, it's set up this way again, the firefighter tells me, so that they can get on the truck more swiftly next time. It's 1 a.m. on a Friday night, and there's been a report of a car on fire. And one of the first responders here have been the firefighters. It looks like the vehicle caught fire due to engine overheating. We're ready to respond to emergency at all times, whether that's in the middle of an interview or a meal. Our response time is 30 seconds to be on the board the truck at night. From medical calls and extraditing crash victims to rescuing people from flooded riverbanks. Now add battling fire to the job description and you have the all-around daily responsibility of firefighters. Back at the station, the night is still young for these officers. They review the fire scenes they've battled and discuss what was done well, what could have been done better, and how they might handle a similar situation in the future. I've been a firefighter for the past 17 years, and of course, there have been dangerous moments. Whenever that happens, I recompose myself and pay attention to detail. We also try to minimize safety accidents by continuously training ourselves. Yes, it's scary. Even the sound of the siren makes me nervous because every situation is different on site. Personally, there's one scene that has burned into my memory. The person I was supposed to rescue jumped right before my eyes. Just like soldiers in combat, firefighters and emergency medical responders share the same increased risk for post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD. Surveys in various countries show nearly 20 percent of all first responders suffer with PTSD, which raises alarm on the growing need for mental and psychological health support at the firehouse. There was a fire that took the life of a seven-year-old when I got to the scene. For years, the image of the boy in the fire stayed with me. It still breaks my heart to this day. I don't think it's something that will ever heal. I think it just accumulates within you. Of course, the mounting health risks for first responders aren't limited to psychological. Pyo chang is a police expert turned lawmaker who's been advocating the need for a presumptive legislation similar to a Workers' Compensation Act for firefighters in this country. 
It's nearly impossible to prove that the illness is a direct result of the occupation when firefighters become ill while in service. Since 2011, 25 firefighters in Korea have been diagnosed with cancer, but not one was able to prove the causal relationship because they had to individually prove that there was a direct causal link between their line of work and contraction of cancer. PO is calling for the approval of a bill that will link a particular occupation with a disease or condition that's been shown to be a hazard associated with that profession, such as cancer for firefighters. In the U.S., for instance, at least 33 out of the 50 states have a law in place that presumes if a firefighter gets cancer, it was likely caused by the job. The adoption rate is even higher in Canada. In nine out of the country's ten provinces, such law is in place. Korea must also pass a law similar to those in the U.S. and Canada so that the burden of proof shifts from the employee to the employer. It's the least we can do, he says, for those who put their lives on the line every time they go out on a call. I've only been on the job for two years. I still have a lot to learn, both from senior officers and on the ground. No, never. I've never regretted becoming a firefighter. Yes, there are tough times being on the job, but I'm glad I can proudly tell my kids that I'm a firefighter and I save people's lives. We really do feel appreciated and loved by the people. But even more profound is that it's such an honor a privilege to be able to save people's lives. With this evening checkoff, another day begins for the men and women who commit themselves to protect the safety and welfare of our friends and family, most often strangers they've never met. So that we can stay in safety, they run towards the disaster scene.